that this star is something. Something big. You think? Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war thumb. From today, we are at war. seen any trouble just yet. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. Stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. Pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this after the loss of his son. Terry! He's gonna clear up you got it. You got him in my two? Did you hear there's gonna be fireworks? You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. 
Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer, his head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. The Know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure, then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. But getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Hey, you almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. Sleeping in supper. Listen, shit, mate. Go someplace else. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Stern. Mid deck. Where's Stern? Next floor up. Right above us. 
Uh, keys on the table there. If you ever say my name again, you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Fuck are you? Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have another for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, hey, hey. thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh?
Try to beat the train! We can make it! Guess it could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yeah, just don't drop it. Shake it, smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. His crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy.
Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? Another racket to muscle into. Get over here, you... <laughs> That's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? You lost? Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you wanna go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, <laughs> oh, no, no. You okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Get me out of 
out of here. Catch up before that idiot gets himself killed! It's doing kill that motherfucker. Get every guy we got down here. He's coming this way.
He's coming this way! Train? Just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? <laughs> what did I tell you? No one can touch me. Ain't that lucky, bastard. Wait. No! no! Ah! 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 After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater's going to be packed. 
And not just with Seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there, too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public. In front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. You take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it? Sure, boss. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew. Not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. You boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You'd think that white suit would make him an easier target.
city better than anyone. Don't worry. This is gonna be a squeeze. Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. It has 
this don't work. He's in a fuck. Okay, here's what's happening. Who let me shoot? Follow him. We He's see where we're out of here yet. We rush in, all guns blazing, and we finish him off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land. It's gonna crash. It look uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hell yeah, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. Be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that. Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. I know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have love. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. See you on the other side, Marku. fucking phantom I've been chasing you for three goddamn years you do life for this Tom maybe you in a chair you don't want the guy who was punching tickets you want the guy who was handing them out so that's what this has been all about huh you offering up Salieri the Don's books the ones Frank stole I have them they're enough to put Salieri away forever and they're yours Assuming we have a deal. My family for the Don. Yeah. 
Do you recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, I stomp upon two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <sighs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <sighs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now we're Eddie soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello to dip you up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner. He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I know a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. Starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. Guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? 
Maybe put him on a take. No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you would give Turnbull the third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look up. Hey, Tommy. The boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements, and only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the government's mansion than Hank Turnbull. And made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against grit stepping back on the field in our time of peace. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's Department Store and Hank Turnbull, leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for Governor. Hey, fella. Come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up.
Someone's coming. No. I'm warning you, mister. You people just leave us be. This is our home. Why can't you people understand? Yeah, hey, you cop. You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming through. Most of the time, keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful, little stranger. We're protective of our own.
You bring trouble. Gonna beat you! Ooh. What have you got? <laughs> Can I help? Tony. You've been using it. Oh, what? Well, you think you can just we walk home? Company? This is our place. Found him! <laughs> <laughs>
I've been out.
Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. 
Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Bradley, too late for that. <laughs> Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. <laughs> Christ. I'm gonna kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. Let's see if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You alright, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We could do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sakes, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. It's got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are a don. I do you think I got plans. But you're wrong. I got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. 
I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the Don? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri? Well, he, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Just get to daydreaming, you know. Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. Gallery welcomes you to their upcoming exhibit. Bear witness to the rise and fall of empires. Since time began, the fortunes of civilization have been entwined with the prosperity and the decline of great empires. Reserve your ticket and see the exhibit. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down. This whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What? 
What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is? Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have to run of the place. You got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. You might not find a spot. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're no. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here. So search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. And find us when you're done. Got guys working over that tonight. Look for something, anything out of place. Where are we gonna get through all these crates? Not even in a week. This will help. Come on, fellas, let's speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Interesting. None of this is any use.
place is huge. Okay, boys, check each crate, then we start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Then lucky. Huh. Having all night to serve. This will help. Cigars, no diamonds. Keep turning up squat. Find it at soon. Nothing in here. Ah, jeez, give me a break. Getting what we came for. We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. <laughs> That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Okay, Tom. Got it. Let's go, let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here, huh? Through the gates. So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Road's closed up ahead! Find another way. If we get seen, they'll race hell. Here they come! Ah, crap! Checkpoint! Give it a wide berth, Tommy.
Another roadblock. Find a way around. like these are your best thing guys i'm trying to drive here let's get back to the warehouse with us we won't tell the down about that one guys i'm trying to drive here let's get back to the warehouse without lhpd on our tail huh sure we got the diamonds the boss will be happy that's all that matters right now those rocks have better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight Of it. it don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is all. All right. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamond supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say. Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. 
Their North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. We've got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid, but that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Well, six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, trying to keep some shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting until things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. So you tell her sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. Before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing this. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement. People